the air handler we're going to be replacing. It's a two-ton. Um, so we need a base for it, new return drop. I'll get you the height, you know, so it just goes right up into panning. Up on the top, um, maybe we take it from this point down um, and replace it. So the Freon lines, we're going to flush the Freon lines. They run up the outside wall. Um, they go through the wall right here. Yeah, they, they go through the wall right there and up the outside wall. So we'll just flush the lines on this one. Um, put a, a new April air filter underneath the air handler. Um, and then we're going to put, well, I only got 110 over here. We're going to need 220 over here. I'm assuming that's a 110 switch. Um, so we'll have to go back to their panel. Um, the drain is currently right here, runs under the floor, and there's a drain right here. So what we're going to do is put a commentate and pump it over up into the sink here, or up into, here's a washer machine stack right behind the washer that we can put it into. Um, and it is, uh, oh dang, can we make this a 220? All, well, they got a couple extra spots right here. Um, see, this is looks like they use Cutler hammer breakers in here, so we'll need a 220 um, 20 amp or 15 amp breaker for the air handler uh, on there, and then have to rerun that back over. So, there's the unit over there. It's all unfinished ceiling, so it should be pretty easy to run over there. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, he's got some, some issues here. All right, uh, I think that's about it. I uh, appreciate it, guys. Thanks.